The United States has the highest number of COVID-19 deaths compared to other countries across the world. That comes from infectious disease expert Dr. Anthony Fauci. Tarek is joining us now with what else Dr. Fauci revealed about the virus today. Well, not only has the United States experienced the highest number of COVID-19 deaths globally, Dr. Fauci also says that doctors are seeing the coronavirus now manifest itself in different ways in its carrier's bodies. We're starting to see a number of other organ systems that are involved, and we learn more about more about that literally every day. Using a PowerPoint presentation, infectious disease expert Dr. Anthony Fauci says COVID-19 is manifesting itself severely in different ways that scientists are still tracking. Cardiac injury, neurological disorders, and conditions that lead to a stroke continue to end the lives of Americans. As you could see, in blue, the European Union countries peaked and came down to a relatively manageable baseline. Whereas in the United States, we peaked, but we never fully came down to a baseline, which hovered around 20,000. Fauci says COVID-19 surges in the states of Florida, Texas, Arizona, and California led to daily peaks of cases as high as 70,000, saying a nationwide uniformed response could have stopped the COVID-19 spread. We never really fully, as it were, shut down in a uniform way throughout the country, although some states and cities did very well in that regard. Again, look at the disparity in what's going on at different regions of the country. Fauci says we don't yet know how effective a coronavirus vaccine will be, adding that it's possible America could reach what's called herd immunity, depending on the percentage of Americans carrying the virus. When you get to a certain level that are protected, you have what's called an umbrella protection of the entire community because so many people are immune that the virus doesn't have any way to really, really generate any momentum. What we want to do is have a combination of people who are immune because they've recovered, and there are many of those, I can tell you, plus the amount of protection that we can get with a virus, of, excuse me, a vaccine, which could be 50, 60, 70 percent. I believe we can do that. As far as that vaccine is concerned, Dr. Fauci says he remains cautiously optimistic that America will be able to approve a vaccine sometime in the year 2021 next year.